and welcome to this video. I was uh, teaching my students Arco Linux, the first steps in the Linux world, and we're talking about software. And what you do is type in the words software. And we have two elements on our systems in Arco Linux. One is GNOME software, this is this one. And the other one is PAMIC. And PAMIC is already down here. It's also a shortcut. There's a little sign here, a star with an arrow up. That's the same one as this one. Now, while teaching, I saw this coming up, then it just, well, flipped away and nothing is shown. And it's actually a rather beautiful way to show um, new beginners or newcomers in Linux. This is the overview of all the software there is, free. Yeah. And um, it was not working anymore. So there is a little fix. We, it seems we need to add uh, these days a element to be able to have that. And this is about this fix. So, um, if you don't know that, how do you search for it? I use this little tool down here. So this application package manager is the same as typing software and taking number three here, line number three, add remove software. It's quite interesting to, to be able visually to say, I don't want Atom, I want to delete it. If I apply, Atom is no longer there. And so on. You can select any of those things and uninstall them. So that's easy. We also have here categories to say, okay, what is here uh, possible to install? There are Android stuff and there is um, lots of elements that you can just take a look. But the other one that's broken is better, but we can fix it. Better in the sense it's uh, graphical for a beginner, it's uh, wonderful, it's beautiful. This is just one line, canter with the text. You'll see later that the one, other one gives us the images, gives us feedback from the users and all that. But anyway, it's the same thing. It's another graphic user interface to get to the software, to the things you want. You were into Twitter and you want the Twitter client, install it, just say apply. And it's there for free installed on your machine that's that so how about this fix how about this fix oh yeah sorry <laughs> my mistake so we're actually going to look here for gnome software because that's the the application that's acting a bit weird today and we see there is one thing that's not installed and we should install it as of this version gnome software 3.28 and so on we need to add this guy and as of next ISO it will be just on the ISO but for now it seems we just need to have it otherwise it reacts funny so we install it we type in our password that's it installed that's how technical it can be and then you start by typing again software this is GNOME software and when we click we need to read actually it says GNOME software needs to be restarted to use new plugins. Okay, restart now. And this is how it's supposed to look. And it's a lot nicer, of course, than previously. And you have here all the information about these music players. And it's easy as clicking Handbrake, install, it's installed, launch. Here is Handbrake. Okay, so it's that easy. And it also goes the other way. Spotify is installed you can remove it. So as well, that is possible. And if you scroll down, you see a lot of reviews and people telling uh, good Spotify client and so on, not perfect. And you read because if you never heard about Clementine, then you have already a look and in a second picture as well. So do you like it? Is this important to you? What it says here? and it's localized in your language. Do you want to have it in Dutch, German, Chinese, and so on? Is it important for you? I like this app, and so on. So it gives you much more information than the other one. And as a beginner, I could appreciate such things. So that's uh, about the fix. The fix is, is now, um, well, GNOME software is working, and the only thing we had to do is type in this application we can type it in or we can go via so arrow up no that's not that all gone so sudo pacman minus s you know software just to repeat 
and then we call it a day. So this is the element that it was missing. You can type it in here. You can do it with this application. It's the same. This is a graphic user interface and he's sending the information to this one. And Pacman is always, always your package manager. He will manage all the packages. All right, that concludes uh, our little fix for GNOME software. Enjoy.